Right, me and Rainy just left the house. We're heading to the shop and we're gonna stop at Ace Hardware and Walmart and get this, the materials we need to build some drag chains for the rafts for this weekend's adventure. Rainy's excited. We're about to make these drag chains. We've been wanting to do this for a long time and just keep putting it off, but they are way safer than an anchor and uh they actually just work way better they slow you down in some white water um just a way to do it so stay tuned we got some drag chains coming your way the first thing we need is a bicycle inner tube there's a whole selection of them looks like this right here is our best bet three percent thicker two pack 26 inches Alright guys, we got everything laid out here. We've got our chains, got the inner tubes, and we got the carabiners. Pretty simple. We'll start putting it all together, show you the process. We're going to cut these inner tubes down to the length of the chains. And then we're just going to punch a hole through, put some zip ties on, and then put the carabiners on it. Then we tie this to the rope and that becomes our drag chain. Randy, take a break. don't heat that up you just try to punch a hole through it it's going to tear not leave it very smooth Drag chains are done. That's pretty much essentially it. Now the rubber is going to kind of, I guess, keep it from the chain from grabbing on stuff. Yeah. Makes it quieter. Quieter. When it's bouncing on the rocks, allows it just to pull through the water a lot easier. So that's why you cover it with the rubber inner tube. And then you just hook your rope right to this. And then you can actually link these two together if you are in faster water. You can pull uh, chains or links off or add more on as you need. That's basically it. And this is not to stop your boat. This is just to keep your boat pointing downstream however you want. If you want to fish with your front of your boat, 
going downstream and you throw it out the back of the boat. If you want to reverse and go downstream with the back of it going down first, then you just attach it to the front of the boat. And it just keeps you slow, keeps you in the fishing lanes so your rower's not working his butt off, which is typically me. <laughs> that is typically you.